Hi there, here's Matt. And this is a short introduction into somatic consent and into the somatic consent engagement system. So let's start with somatic. Somatic is the sensory inflow, the so-called afferent part of the somatic nervous system. It's what we call the direct route of pleasure. And then you have the second one, what is the motor impulses, what is your action or the the efferent, so everything that is moving your body. Then we go to consent. Consent is divided in either permission or agreement. Where I want to point here into permission and agreement is that permission is going in a different way of a request with the question, can I? do something for myself. So going into that action for a benefit of your sensations or feeling. The agreement is, can you do such and such? So well, we ask another person for an action towards our benefit. So that's the consent part. And then we have the engagement system. And the engagement system comes from the polyvagal theory. And it includes the social engagement system. What is literally everything from your upper diaphragm, so your heart, your lungs, your larynx, your vocal cords, your voice, how you hear, how you see, your facial expression, to engage with other mammals. It is your ventral vagus complex. And it's everything that is related to connection and safety. That is the somatic consent engagement system. How that applies in the picture of the somatic consent engagement system I will show you in a second. All right, so how the somatic consent engagement system fits all together? It's based on one specific dynamic and that's the somatic embodiment. And when I say embodiment, I literally mean embodiment. So the embodiment is that this is your hand, this is your brain, there's all this nerve ending in your skin, in your hands, and specifically where you have more than anywhere else in your body. This is the sensory inflow when you feel and touch something that is firing in your pleasure center other neurons that are getting triggered by these neurons. And then you have the motor. The motor sending impulses through your muscles into your body, into your hand, and makes your hand move towards the action. So where you have here the motor, and you have here the sensory. So the motor and the sensory this is the key component. It is your action. And sensory, it is when you are in action, it is for you. The consent part and how that fits into the, into the consent part, this is the next little video. The last part of the somatic consent engagement system, that when you have the sensory and the motor embodied, you operate from an embodied base. Let's say this 
is your base. Do you have a right to and a responsibility for so your sensations, your feelings, your thoughts? So your base is surrounded by your boundaries and your capability of saying no. Yeah. So it's important to have your base together. Then we have the permission line, what the consent part is, and we have the agreement line. So when you have permission line and the agreement line, you have in the permission line, you ask for permission to do something for yourself. So can I? And in the agreement line, you ask for can you? So now we want to bring the somatic dynamic in here. That is either your action or it's either their action. And it's either for you or it is for them. It's either or. So when you want to go in action and it's for you, you need to ask for permission. Can I? And when you want their action is for you, you need to ask, can you? So that makes this dynamic very simple, very easy to practice making requests. So because here comes the next part, if you can't ask for what you want, you operate out of the shadows. So if there is no permission, if the shadows of abuse and rape, for example. If you're down here and you want somebody else to do something, an action, and you have no agreement, this is the shadow entitlement, for example, or expectation. And then you have the shadow here. If you don't give permission, but stuff is happening to you and you can't express your limits or you have no limits or no boundaries, the victim shadow going along. And then you have the shadow up here. If you're doing action for others and you don't have limits, so no limits here, shadow of pleasing or burn out. That's pretty much the somatic consent engagement system. But what I'm really, really passionate about is when you can ask for what you want and you have your somatic inflow activated and you can feel what is important for you, you can make connection and you want to go on this upward spiral. There's a specific point here in the middle, this point, this is the, the apex. And the apex is a very interesting point because this dynamic in here is either or, but what is if two people are in action and what is if it's for two people? Then it's not the shadows because then it's just only one person winning or is a power over dynamic, but in the apex, it's for both. So when you turn this dynamic 90 degree, you create literally a three-dimensional structure like a pyramid. And when I'm talking about the apex, I'm talking about this little spot. And this little spot, this is the, the interpersonal space of love and care. That's the space of um, lovemaking and conscious, conscious sexuality. That's the place where friends are hanging out and where lovers are. This is where you are, the gift that you are, just by being here, where you don't have to provide or do anything to belong. So it's an interpersonal space that actually goes by deeper exploration in a transpersonal space. 
And this is where the somatic consent engagement system is getting really interesting and makes a whole dynamic transparent. So this is a somatic consent engagement system in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, if you have questions, please ask anytime, anywhere. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.